fantastic that the show is um, is a joy mm -hmm. to be a part of this great show with the visuals and the great band and the hydrophonic sound and all the visual stuff. Mm -hmm. and, um, I love it. I, I mean, I, I, I never, and I say that because I didn't used to enjoy playing live very much. For years I did it because it was part of the job. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really enjoy being a front man and all yeah. that stuff. But now I, I've really learned to, to, with my solo band, I've I really learned to enjoy it a lot. Have the great time. It must be like a journey for you, so it's yeah. like being another, another person and I don't know that. Well, or, uh, that's one way of looking at it, or the other way of looking at it is I finally feel like I can be myself. Uh -huh. yeah. And I don't feel like I have to be something that people expect me to be anymore. You are music. And then you are you can yeah. be the music. And I feel like the, I feel now like the audience want me to be uh -huh. myself and want me to be natural and I didn't always feel that way. Uh -huh. But the audience has changed, you know, over the last seven or eight years, uh -huh. a lot young, younger audience, more women. Yeah. You know, so it's kind of broadened out a lot. It's less serious, you know, men. Yeah. I, 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 I do that because uh, I, I work in a record store and there's a lot of people that mm, maybe 10 years ago mm. when they were interested into Pop Pine Tree or Vasco Munion or Man mm. or Blackfield, uh, they were people that were, they have a, an age. Mm. But now there's so many people, very, very young kids that, mm. that enjoy. My, my cousins are, are coming to today right. and they fell in love with your music, with your music thanks yeah. to me. And when they were younger, listen to In Absentia, listen to right. Sideways, Sideways and, and it's, it's great to, to, to see that, to see that, that there's a lot of people, very different kind of people and right. different ages. So you can imagine for me that's great to, to see. You know. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, <coughs> tell me a little bit about the, the new EP and uh, the release date, maybe, or you can talk about that, or maybe it's secret. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can. I mean, I don't know a lot myself yet. It's gonna. It, I mean, we're aiming for January because uh -huh. uh, in the middle of January I start the third leg of the tour. Mm -hmm. It's going to be quite long. Uh, uh, January through to May, we've already got touch on May. So the idea is to have the EP out in January, mm -hmm. in time for the tour. Yeah. The music on the EP is um, predominantly music that was written during the Hand Cannot Erase sessions, mm -hmm. but that for whatever reason didn't quite fit. Conceptually, musically, yeah. you know, whatever. Yeah. yeah, I know, I'm aware. Um, <laughs> so if this is good music, this is music I'm proud of. It's a little bit schizophrenic, you know, because uh -huh. uh, there's all sorts of different tracks on the, on the EP. I think there's going to be five tracks, and they're all quite different. Okay. And it's partly because they didn't fit anywhere else that I've kind of put them all together. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, um, it's going to be a nice record, I think, for people that already know and cannot erase. It'll be a nice companion to uh -huh. that. Right. Uh, so it's a, and it's a nice way for me to... Mm -hmm. um, you know, release these songs, which I'm proud of, they're, they're good songs, mm -hmm. uh, and then be able to almost clear out my mind yeah. and move on to, to the next. As a musician, I know that feeling. You right. must uh, clean all and begin to get something ready so you can move on. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's okay. what I'm Okay, so in general, perfect, and five yeah. tracks, that's right. Uh, you're always busy writing, rehearsing, uh, touring, and well, you are a very busy man. Uh, which kind of work do you enjoy more? Well, that's a difficult question to answer because I think the answer is I like the I like the changing cycle. I like the changes in the cycle. So, for example, mm -hmm. you know, if you if my job, if you call it a job, <laughs> my job is to write albums, to record albums, to promote albums, and then to tour albums. Now, each of those, if you think of each of those things as part of a seasonal cycle, mm -hmm. you spend say six months in the studio, <coughs> completely on your own, complete isolation, uh -huh. just writing, and I write completely on my own, completely writing on my own, I only ever see my little doggy and that's all, uh -huh. and I just write, and I'm in complete isolation, I don't have any contact with any other thing. Then I record the album, and I'm, I'm so I'm working with my band, so uh -huh. you're working with a small group of people, then you go out and you start promoting the album, so like we are now, I talk to journalists and people, and, 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 beautiful girls and, <laughs> and and I start to
crowd the racket mm -hmm. and the ideas. And then I go on tour and I'm playing to a thousand people plus every night. So it's almost like I've gone from being completely on my own to being a very public person. Uh -huh. And then you go right back to the beginning again. And I think the answer to your question is, I like that changing that seasonal or cycle. Because if I had to do one of those things all the time, uh -huh. I think I would get bored, yeah. you know, just to be in the studio all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. or just to be. So the answer to your question is all of it. Yeah, you enjoy all the process. Um, but I like the fact also that it is this kind of constantly changing right. uh, cycle. Yeah. You have a uh, new remixes uh, of Gentle Giant uh, I saw yesterday. Right. And t could you tell me yeah. which new releases uh, I think you have in mind right now? You mean ones that I'm... Yeah, when, when the, the tour is over, you will release... Uh, <coughs> well, maybe the remixes uh, will be released uh, near... Really or you. I can't really tell you. I ah, mean, okay. there are things I've done, but I uh -huh. can't... They're not my, it's not my music, so it's up to the, the record from the artist to announce them. I've done some other things. Mm -hmm. uh, the ones that have officially been announced, Gentle Jar Octopus, XTC's Orange of the Lambs, Tears for Food, Food and Blood, and the Death of Blood, and the Yes by Jar, and I think an Unhopeful Explanation. Yeah, with 5.1, yeah, 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 two albums, I saw. So there's four or five <coughs> coming out between now and the end of the year. Oh. But some of those I did a long time ago. Ah, oh, okay. The Oprah yeah. Five in 2009. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. And, um, and some of these some of these projects take a long time to mm. actually get released. Okay. There's, there's stuff I did in 2012 that still hasn't been released. Oh. So the answer is I can't answer the question because it's not... I can't tell it's, you. Yeah, I, I understand. I have to wait for the record company and the band to officially. You don't know. decide when it will no. be released. So. No, no, okay. okay. <laughs> uh, <coughs> uh, uh, no Man's Land is still your main studio and um, where you create and write and. Uh, well, No Man's Land is really wherever I'm living. Okay. I mean, it's not a studio. Uh -huh. My studio is. is um, uh, a room in wherever I'm living with few instruments and, mm -hmm. and a computer-based okay. recording system. So, uh, No Man's Land has moved over the years. Uh -huh. But I guess I still call it that, yeah. I saw pictures uh, years ago and I was like, wow, all those albums have been created here. It was probably, it was probably the, the, the pictures you saw years ago, was probably a room in my mum and dad's house, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, no longer there, no, I have it, uh -huh. in, my, I have it in my house. My own mm -hmm. house now, but it's n it's not a studio. I mean, you know, it's funny when I do when I do interviews. Sometimes I do interviews with like um, technical magazines, recording magazines, mm -hmm. you know, professional recording yeah. magazines, and they think I'm some some you know hot shot producer. Mm -hmm. engineer. And they say, can we come and take pictures of, of you in your studio? And I'm like, and I'm thinking they're probably imagining this, you know, massive SSL, yeah, 60 <laughs> channel desk, and like, you know, racks and yeah, racks like of vintage, yeah, like, like a spaceship. Yeah. And I'm like, my studio is just a computer, and, and uh, you know, I'm I'm one of the, uh, I guess, I'm, uh,